Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Maximum Overdrive, Max for short, and welcome to the installation video of Think Tank UI Remastered. Now, first things first, you need to know about Think Tank UI Remastered. This one is specifically made more for Mythic Plus and rating, hardcore rating. Um, the other one I create and manage is uh, MOG UI or Maximum Overdrive Gaming UI. That one is for general play, and they're technically both able to be used in a high rating environment because they do the similar things. This one just tells you a little more information than the other one does on screen in, I guess, better places, but they basically do the same. So just pick whatever one you like, but this one's the install video for this one. So first things first, you need to download LVI. Uh, I also highly recommend downloading these add-ons, Raven and add-on skins. They're pretty much required for Think Tank UI because um, of the class specific buff debuff tracking and add-on skins will manage a lot of the add-ons and placements of them so like your damage meters will go in the right chat things will get placed on screen for daily boss mods or big wigs and so on um, uh, you can get LVUI from the Tuck UI website which is right here tuckui.org go there download it install it you can also download my add-ons through the Twitch um, the Twitch installer, just go to mods, uh, get more add-ons, uh, you can do MOG UI if you want that one, or Think Tank UI Remastered, but that's what this one's about, so when you get it, download it, so on. Um, from there, uh, one of the very first things I need you to do is go into the game, so World of Warcraft, go interface, add-ons, go down to my UI, LUI, Think Tank UI RM. You need to, we're going to close this out real fast. Um, go into the KUI nameplates. Copy these out. I have it bookmarked on the side because I use it so much. And paste these two files into your um, your WTF folder. So it'll be World of Warcraft, WTF account, your account name, and then saved variables. Paste those in there. And then when you're in game, which we're going there right now. It will actually load up those profiles because before in another video that I made, uh, it, I, I messed up and said, hey, put these in in game. Then when you exited, it would like delete the profiles and overwrite with the default ones. So, um, oh yeah. And in that window, you want to make sure all the add-ons you want enabled are enabled. Specifically like add-on skins, Raven, LVY, whatever you're using for your boss mods and so on. I have no idea where I'm at right now. So this could be interesting. Um, for the LVI installation, which, which will pop up first, we're only going to do like two of the things in it, and I only recommend just doing two because you don't need to do the rest. Uh, my UI will set up the rest of the stuff, so it's not a big deal. Um, hit continue. You can set the C variables, and then set the chat. Because your chat might be named something different than what I'm calling it for, so like my chat will pull whatever is on the right side to the left if it's named loot slash trade. If it's not loot slash trade, it will not pull it or move it and you'll have some issues with that. So make sure you set the chat. And skip all the way to the end and click finished. Next, my, uh, my install will pop up. You have a few options. This is version 3.21. There's chat, layout, unit frames, action bars, the atom profiles, the data text, and then there's the complete completing installation step. Um, you can also make multiple profiles if you want different spec things or whatever. So I'll show you how to do that real fast too. First things first, you continue set the chat it pulls the chat and sets the size of the chat setting layout will pull things around actually the honor bar is here the uh reputation bar is there the xp bar is here and i believe right below the map is the azurite bar or it's on the sides of one i actually think it's down here um next you want to select what you're doing in this case i'm a dps or a tank it will set your unit frames pull them up um there's two Layouts for action bars. I'm going to double click them just because it'll update fully. It would automatically update at the end when you finish, but it doesn't matter. This is just for showing you. This one's got two specific ones. One will fade out with 10 bars on each side with 12, sorry, 8, 8, 10, and there's 5 in the middle, or 6 in the middle. The other one is two sets of 12 and then a full action bar in the middle, which is what I'm going to use for this one. Um, Next, you click Add-on Profiles. Click Set Add-on Profiles. This will set 
all the add-ons that you have installed that I have made profiles for. So add-on skins in this case, Deadly Boss Mods, Location Plus, Raven, Scotta, and XCT. It makes them all, makes all the profiles, installs them, hit continue. Pick um, whatever one you're doing, in this case is cash or DPS, it will set. Your spell power, haste, crit, bags, money, and then spec loot. And click install. After this, you'll be done. But to highlight a few things, I'm going to run out of here real fast. Just to click on an enemy. Go, 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 go. Okay, so right now you see that they're, they're overlaying nameplates. I do have some default nameplates created. So like if you just go through the regular process and you don't want to use KUI nameplates, you don't have to. So in this case, we're going to use KUI nameplates just to show you how that works. I already have them installed. So you're going to go to interface, add-ons, KUI nameplates core, select the think tank UI profile and hit OK. Go into LVUI, go to nameplates and disable them. It'll say, hey, you need to reload, hit accept and that's fine. Um, I personally like KUI nameplates more, the way it looks. When you select it, I've actually made it so it clamps to the screen. It does not go off no matter where you're at. So you can't lose it and you can't lose it under the map or under your profile, uh, unit frames, anything like that. So it just shows a target. It even shows like friendlies. Oh gosh, where did I come from? It shows friendlies. And so on. So that is how you install all of that. To make a secondary profile, you need to go to LVI, go to profiles. This is your current one. So you can even do it like this. You could even make a new profile first and it's called like DPS and then one call one healer. But we're going to healer for this one. Bam. And since that's already all set, hit install. Uh, don't worry about the thing in the back. It's just saying that things are messed up. The growth is just whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, skip the process. You can actually go through and set the chat, but I'm going to skip it just for the heck of it because I think the chat's already going to be set. Go to here. Hit install. Set the chat, which is already set. Set the layout. Select healer. This in the back is just saying that Raven is having issues until it's actually fully set up. Uh, in this case, we'll say version one. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to set the atom profiles because they're already set. You can set healer for this one and install. And there. Now you have two profiles. One's healer. And one is the other one. And so how you switch, if you want to do spec-based profiles, you click this, enable spec-based profiles. I'm in fire. If you set the other one to healer, and I switch to arcane, it should automatically change everything on your screen to whatever the other one is. And so, bam. And there we go. No issues whatsoever. And that is how you install the UI. Also, just to make sure it worked. Um, your buff bar does indeed work like it should. So I want to thank you all for checking out my UI. I know the community support has been really great for this and I've got lots of good feedback. I wish you guys all well out there in the raiding world and Mythic Plus. Uh, I look forward to playing with you all in Battle for Azeroth. If you want, come check out my Discord. There's a link to it on the page. Or even come follow me on Twitch. I'm going to try streaming a lot more. So thanks guys for checking me out. My name is Max. Also, that's a Totoro, if you know what that is. Heck yeah. Plus all the Hilo Miyazaki stuff floating around there. I had that made for my wife. I guess I'll check you guys later. Thanks for stopping by.